All right, what's up everybody? It's Ethan here. And today, coming to you from San Isabel National Forest, outside of uh, Pueblo, Colorado, a little south of Pueblo. And we're in the wet mountains, hiking on the Greenhorn Trail. This hike is uh, 12 and a half miles round trip. And it's already kind of late in the afternoon. We got here pretty late. So the plan is, is that we're gonna be backpacking in for three to four miles, something like that, setting up camp, and then hopefully summiting the 12,400 foot Greenhorn Mountain in the morning. It's a beautiful trail so far. There's some fall colors out. Uh, still following along this creek here. And um, it's pretty cool, I'm excited. And on this trip, we got Eric up front and Hannah, and then Katie and Jared behind me. So same crew as for Pacific and Atlantic Peak, plus Katie. Starting to get some good views on the trail. We're uh, probably close to three miles in right now, and uh, we're going to be looking for a place to set up camp soon. It's after four o'clock, so it would be nice to find something in the next half a mile or so. <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> I hate running shits at first. But then after they get better. Yeah, now it's sort of, they sort of just grow on you, you know? Like, no. <laughs> they haven't grown on me yet. I still like, am not a fan. With a of yeah. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to add on this? A giant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well. We found a camp spot oh. next to the creek down there, and it's getting colder for sure. As you can see by Hannah's uh, body language. But it's a nice little spot, got some views, and uh, it's a little shaded from the wind, which is nice. And we're eating. I like zoomed way in on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it, be yeah, it's it's pad tie, right? That's what that is. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll I'll get back to you a little later. We're gonna enjoy sitting here, not being allowed to have a fire. <laughs> fire would be so fucking nice right now. It really would be. All right, I'm out here by our little water source. This cool little, little tiny bit of a waterfall along this creek. And uh, this is a really cool campsite actually. I really like this spot. There's still some fall colors out. It's definitely past peak at this point, but there's still some fall colors out. And uh, you get some, some pretty nice views, especially over there, the, the big cliffs and stuff. So. Um, I will say though, it is, uh, it's definitely gotten pretty cold pretty fast. 
Um, it's about 6.30 right now, so it's going to be completely dark uh, within the next half hour here. And uh, even not being completely dark yet, it's already down to like 28 degrees. Um, it's most likely going to probably go down to about 10 degrees tonight. And luckily the wind has settled down a little bit. Uh, it's still a little breezy, but it's not nearly as bad as it was on the hike in and when we first got to camp. So I'm hoping it stays like that. But uh, the forecast was saying that it is supposed to get more windy again in the morning. So waking up might be kind of a drag. But uh, it's still a beautiful spot here in the, in the wet mountains. Really cool little area. And uh, from here we're about three or so miles from the summit of Greenhorn Mountain. Um, it's about 3,600 feet of elevation gain from here. So still got quite a bit. We did about 1,500 feet of elevation gain on the way up to this campsite. And in terms of distance, we've gone about halfway, about half the distance of this trail. But in terms of elevation gain, we've only done like a quarter of it. So uh, tomorrow's definitely gonna be a tougher day. We're gonna wake up probably pretty early, get hiking, uh, leave all our backpacking equipment here and then um, get up to the summit of Greenhorn, hopefully, and then uh, head back down, pack up camp, and uh, head back to the trailhead. So tomorrow's gonna be, I mean, today we only hiked like three, probably about three, three and a half miles, and tomorrow it looks like we're gonna be doing uh, at least nine miles. So it's gonna be a longer day with a lot of elevation gain and loss, but uh, should be all right. I'm just looking forward to getting into my sleeping bag at this point because it's getting cold and it's only going to get colder. Alright guys, so it's uh, almost 9 o'clock. Uh, pretty cold right now. It's probably like in the low 20s. So we all decided to uh, crawl into our sleeping bags and try to get some sleep since it's only going to get colder and uh, we can't have a fire or anything so we're just probably going to try to get some sleep but we'll be waking up nice and early tomorrow and hopefully be able to get up to uh, the summit of Greenhorn Mountain so I am going to stay nice and toasty here in my sleeping bag and I'll get back to you guys in the morning This is gonna be on the internet, man. Like, everyone's everyone's gonna know who you really are now, Jared. Okay, I'm. I've had it with you guys. They. <clears throat> uh, intentionally say gross things every time I start recording so I have to re-record again what they just said there was uh, actually really pleasant compared to what they said the last time I tried to record a video but anyway guys as you can see it's uh it's the morning time I just ate breakfast chili ramen that was breakfast and of course Starbucks instant coffee um, which is really good right now because it is still very cold it's probably um it's probably about 18 degrees right now um and it probably went down to uh about 12 13 degrees last night so it got pretty cold the wind finally died down though which is nice but we're about to start heading further on the trail and um, I'm not feeling 100% right now. I'm hoping that like eating some food and drinking some coffee and everything will help me feel a little better. But at the moment, I'm not feeling at 100%. So I'm hoping I start feeling better. But honestly, it's a pretty tough hike from here to the summit of Greenhorn Mountain. And if I don't start feeling better, I may just hike another mile up or so and then call it. All right, well... Right after leaving our campsite, we're in the Greenhorn Mountain Wilderness. We were literally camped like 
50 yards outside of the wilderness boundary, evidently. Heading up the trail, we're at about 8,800 feet right now. All right, so we've gone up about a mile and a half from the from our campsite, and probably about a 11, 1,200 feet of elevation. So it's been pretty steep since leaving camp, which was to be expected. Unfortunately. Um, I made the massive mistake of eating spicy ramen for breakfast this morning, and I'm really feeling it right now. My stomach is just on fire. So, I gave the rest of the group permission to just go ahead and go ahead of me, so they could at least make it to the summit, and at some point here, I'm going to turn around. Unfortunately, I just don't see any way with the way that I feel that I'm going to be able to do the remaining hike up to Greenhorn Mountain. All right, well, I made it up to 10,000 feet, and I was hoping I'd get a little bit better of a view at 10,000 feet, but... There's still a lot of, uh, the, the forest is still pretty thick here. Lots of aspen trees, and of course it's past uh, peak, especially this high up in altitude. Um, but, I mean, if we would have been here a couple of weeks ago, this would have been a pretty, pretty epic fall color hike. But the trail's doing steep switchbacks, and it keeps going up that way. And um, just... The way my stomach feels and everything else, I think this is a good stopping point for me. My uh, the the rest of the group they went way ahead of me, which is fine. I told them to you know just keep going because you know they're all trying to get to the summit of Greenhorn Mountain. And pretty much as soon as I woke up this morning, I kind of had a feeling that <laughs> that I wasn't going to be able to make it all the way up there. But I was able to climb up about 1,500 feet from uh, where we camped last night, and. Uh, Got a couple of nice views. I mean, you can see through the trees right there. You can see down to the uh, down to the plains, and um, I mean that's where we started. You know, it was way way down there at the bottom, right where you know the tree line kind of starts. And uh, I mean that was a good long hike. Probably from here back to the trailhead is, I would say at least four and a half, maybe five miles and um and uh you know this is about and the trailhead starts at about 7000 feet so you know about 3000 feet higher than where the trailhead is so i'm okay with what i did it's just you know honestly i've been working so much lately that it's been uh, a while since i've been able to get up here to the mountains and do any kind of a hike i have and this is the first hike i've done in in like 2 months so it's really awesome that I was able to do uh, um, that I was able to come out here and not just do a day hike but also get to do a, a cool backpacking trip in one of the few mountain ranges left in Colorado that doesn't have any snow yet because uh, you can see you know like I said I'm up at about 10,000 feet right now and there's absolutely no snow up here the temperature has warmed up quite a bit from what it was this morning it's uh, it's a lot warmer. It's probably, I mean, when I say warmer, I mean, it's probably like 35 degrees right now, but I'll take that any day over like, you know, 15, 18 degrees. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and sit here for a minute and relax, drink some water, and then I'm going to head back down to the campsite and pack up. That's Well, Jared decided to join me for the hike back. <clears throat> He's got to be back in town a little early, so that worked out. And there's the summit of Greenhorn Mountain up there in the background. So you can actually see it from the campsite here. But we made it back. We're going to break down our camping stuff and start heading back to the trailhead. 
and uh, the rest of them are gonna head back in a different car so it's a fun trip though right all right well a quick note here about some of my gear as i'm packing up i realized i didn't really even tell you guys uh, if you've seen any of my other backpacking videos you recognize most of the stuff i got my rei two-person quarter dome here that i'm still using for my tent um my rei flash all season uh pad and then under that i brought i actually brought another pad this one's a big agnes uh and the r value on this one is 5.2 i think and then the r value on this is 3.4 so the two of them together it was definitely a good choice for this trip because it got pretty damn cold last night i mean it definitely went down to like probably you know 12 13 degrees so and then this thing this is the first time i've used this piece of gear even though i've had it for almost a year i haven't used it yet but this is my uh uh sea to summit um what is it called thermalite reactor extreme it's a uh liner for a sleeping bag that lowers the temperature rating a little bit so uh, i have a 15 degree this is the marmot trestles synthetic uh, bag and it has a temperature rating of 15 degrees but with this added into it you can you know relatively comfortably camp down to probably like close to zero degrees and still be okay um <clears throat> and i mean this bag this is the coldest i've ever camped in with this bag um i camped in 18 degree weather once but 12 degrees is definitely the coldest i've camped with this bag but having this definitely helped having this plus the extra sleeping pad i mean that that really helped to make sure that i stayed warm last night and i'm definitely glad i brought all this stuff i mean it was a little extra weight and stuff like that but it was well worth it for the benefits of you know sleeping comfortably at night and not being cold all night um and then I, I just brought, I wanted to say, I have another more comfortable pillow, but I wanted to save a little space. So I just brought the uh, Sea to Summit Eros, you know, inflatable pillow. Um, it's not the most comfortable pillow in the world, but it does fit in the mummy bag great, which is good because, you know, when it's cold like that, you want to be completely wrapped up in your sleeping bag and not really have any exposed skin. But anyway... All this gear worked out pretty well. I'm very satisfied with how well this uh, this sleeping bag liner worked and having the extra sleeping pad was really helpful. Um, I also like to carry this sleeping pad too just in case that this one pops because if this one were to pop for any reason, at least I would have something to protect me from the ground, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna start packing this up because we gotta get hiking out pretty All right, guys. Well, there's a good look at Greenhorn Mountain and the surrounding areas very beautiful really cool scenery back here in the wet mountains so our campsite was down there i got camp broken down and and kind of show you you see down there back down to the plains that's where the trailhead's going to be i'm going to hike up to that ridge cross that boulder field and start heading back down but uh i am going solo at the moment jared um needs to be back in town a little earlier than originally expected and the problem is is that jared left his car keys in eric's car and eric left his car keys at the campground but we can't get a hold of eric because of you know lack of cell service and stuff and we didn't couldn't find anything to write him a note with so the plan is that um i'm gonna hike back they it's probably gonna be about another hour before the before eric hannah and katie get back to the campsite so i'm gonna start hiking out towards the trailhead it's about three three and a half miles from here should take me about an hour and um then jared who does some trail running and is a lot faster than me once the rest of them get back to the campsite he's going to grab eric's car keys and book it down the mountain super fast back to the trailhead and then uh, uh he's going to grab his car keys out of eric's car and then i'm going to give jared a ride back up to where his car is parked in denver so 
that's the plan. It's uh, not the most ideal situation, but it'll work and it should get Jared back in enough time for uh, what he's got planned this this evening. So, because it's about 11.30 right now, so. And Denver's about a two hour drive from here. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep hiking out, enjoying this beautiful scenery, because there is quite a bit of good scenery especially on the lower portions of the trail. There's actually better scenery down here than there was up at like nine, 10,000 feet. So I'm gonna enjoy it and uh, get back to the trailhead. And I should have, like I said, at least an hour head start on when Jared starts running down. So I should probably almost certainly make it back before he gets there. And, uh, I don't know, watch Netflix in the car or something. Alright, so I'm back down at a lower altitude. Um, about 7,500 feet. And hiking alongside the creek. Same creek that you follow for a lot of this trail. And I should be about... A little under a mile from the trailhead at this point and Jared still hasn't caught up to me yet which is good I'm honestly guessing that uh, the rest of the group probably is getting back to the campsite <laughs> honestly like right about now or maybe isn't even quite there yet so I definitely have a good head start uh, on Jared here which was the plan. All right, well, uh, the one and only bridge crossing on this trail and the final time crossing this creek. So the trailhead is right there. And I gotta tell you, that was a fantastic overnight trip even though everything didn't go exactly as planned and I didn't get to make it to the summit of Greenhorn Mountain still got to do about I think I put in a total of about uh, I'd have to say uh, probably like 11 miles 10 and a half 11 miles which is pretty good and got some fantastic views and got to spend a really cool night out in the wilderness both literally and figuratively because figuratively, it was very cold but anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video at this point I'm just gonna be waiting for Jared to get back here so we can start heading back home but anyway guys if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon for some more awesome hiking and backpacking adventures